Working out isn't your thing, though. Film and TV critic Richard Roper is sharing some of his favorite shows and movies to binge right now. I'm Richard Roper, and as we all hunker down and settle in for a long stretch of home viewing, I've got a whole batch of brand new arrivals for you. Season three of the Netflix series Ozark has just dropped, and I'm pleased to report this is still the best show of its kind since Breaking Bad. If we had just kept our heads down, Wendy. There's nothing we can do about that now. We're committed. Oh, yeah? And I don't think we want to annoy our shareholders. You have done nothing but fight me on this. I was trying to protect our family. That is such a tired, is tired it? excuse. Jason Bateman and Laura Linney deliver Emmy-level work as Marty and Wendy Bird. They're running a casino boat. They're laundering drug cartel money. They're dealing with the crazy son of a Kansas City mob boss. And oh yeah, they're getting blackmailed by their therapist. I've seen all 10 episodes of season three, and let's just say it kills in more ways than one. If you think the American voting system is vulnerable to hackers, the HBO documentary Kill Chain proves you right. A commonly used argument. They are never connected to the internet. No voting machines are connected to the internet. Not connected to the internet. Not connected to the internet, and therefore cannot be attacked. Oh, it wants to go to internet. That's very nice. This is a dry but eye-opening look at the chaotic, localized, easily manipulated voting system in America. Also new on home video, two movies that were just starting their theatrical runs when America's movie houses were closed. So now they're coming to home video well ahead of schedule. Ben Affleck gives a brave and honest performance as an alcoholic high school basketball coach in The Way Back. What's going on with you? What's new? Not much. I hate the idea of you down there by yourself all the time. Just drinking. I'm fine. I appreciate it. But it's, I'm fine. This works as an underdog sports movie and a classic tale of redemption. It's great viewing if you're looking for some inspiration on a cloudy day. And the same could be said of I Still Believe. This is a faith-based tearjerker in the tradition of love story and the fault in our stars. K.J. Appa shines as the real-life Christian music star Jeremy Camp, and Britt Robertson is lovely and amazing as Melissa Henning, the girl he falls in love with. But their romance is just finding its way when Melissa gets sick, very sick. You're getting married. Yeah. But will she get better? I don't know, Mom. Son, you're only 20 years old. You just met this girl. I'm supposed to be with her. I can't explain it. I just know that. The country music star Shania Twain and local treasure Gary Sinise are wonderful as Jeremy's parents. Keep the tissues handy as I still believe is sure to make you misty. So plenty of viewing options for you in the days and weeks to come. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.